Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and 7 Block Studios, and this vlog is not going to be 6 seconds. There's this old practice before Coinstar was a thing of taking your loose change and putting it into these coin rolls. Now, a lot of banks don't even accept these anymore. Luckily, when I was at the bank last week, I asked. I said, do you guys accept the rolled coins still? And they said, yes. I said, oh goody. Because maybe I'm just a little too old-fashioned for the rest of the world. But I actually still like to do this. I think, at the same time, anyone who would enjoy balancing their checkbook, or uh, perhaps people who are very math-oriented would probably really like this as well. It's sort of a, a lost art, so to speak. I mean, I hate to call this an art, and it's, anyone can do something like this. It's pretty simple and mildly meticulous, but um, it's somewhat more satisfying rather than just dumping it into a bucket and saying, this is how much change you've got. You know? Rather than doing something like this for a few minutes and saying, hey look, five dollars in dimes. Getting this first set in is always harder. You have to line them up straight, make sure they're not turned sideways. It's a pain in the butt, but I love it. Sacagawea dollars. I don't know why I still keep these around. Uh, looks like a presidential dollar. I like how they thought they were going to try and replace the, uh, the dollar bills with the coins. It's a fun idea, but I'm sorry. Not happening. That is a nasty little company. I'm just not going to use that one. It's a token. Canadian pennies and stuff in here too. Pressed coins. Yeah. Pennies go at 50 cents, but you count them individually, so it's a pain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big piles. Off to the bank with $46 in change.